going to look at a homework question about related rates. In this question, we're looking at the rate of change of the height of coffee in a container and how that's related to the rate of change of the volume of the coffee in that container. So the question says, coffee is draining from a conical filter into a cylindrical coffee pot at the rate of 10 cubic inches per minute. The conical filter is 6 inches tall with a 6 inch diameter, while the cylindrical pot has a 6 inch diameter. How fast is the level in the pot rising when the coffee in the cone is 5 inches deep? Part B says, how fast is the level in the cone falling at that moment? So we need to find a relationship between the rate of change of volume, which we are given, and the rate of change of height, which we are asked for. If volume and height are related, then their rates of change are related. And that's sort of the essence of these related rates problems, is we start by modeling the relationship. We, we, we come up with an equation that shows the relationship between two quantities, and then we differentiate that equation to get another equation that relates the rates of change of those quantities. So for this one, for part A, we're focusing on the relationship between the volume of coffee in the cylinder, that's this coffee in the cylinder, and the height of the coffee in the cylinder. So we're going to call the height H. That's the depth of coffee that we have uh, in this. The radius of the cylinder is known. Since the diameter is 6, the radius is 3. And then that that's, should suggest a relationship between the volume and the height. We know the volume of a cylinder, and that's what this coffee is. This coffee is a cylinder. So the volume is pi r squared h. And r is 3 inches. So volume is pi times 3 inches squared times h. This is a relationship between v volume and h height. So what this represents, this is an equation relating v and h. Our next step is going to be to differentiate that equation and when we do we're going to get another equation relating uh, it will still involve v and h but if we differentiate it then every time we differentiate v with respect to t we'll get a dv by dt so it'll relate v and the derivative of v and h and the derivative of h with respect to t. Now when we, we we know that we'll get such an equation before we even start and that that equation will be important that equation will allow us to answer the questions that relate the rates. So we're given information about how the volume is changing that's the 10 cubic inches per minute we're asked how the height is changing that's the dh by dt so we should get an equation that relates those quantities to each other and we should use we will then be able to use information about one quantity or one or more of those quantities to answer a question about an unknown. So the equation we get is dv by dt equals, now when we differentiate this, all of this is a constant, so it just sits there, pi times 9 inches squared times dh by dt. And this is our second equation. It relates v prime, the derivative of v, the derivative of h, and they have this relationship. And it's a very simple relationship in this case. So if dv by dt is given, us, given to us as 10 cubic inches per minute, we should be able to figure out the rate of change of h with respect to t. So it would be 10 over 9 pi. This is inches cubed per minute divided by inches. So we get inches per minute equals dh by dt. And that's the, that's the uh, quantity we were being asked about. So our answer for part A 
is that the coffee level rises at a rate of 10 over 9 pi inches per minute, um, which is a constant, constantly. If you recall, if you recall, the first question asked, how fast is the level in the pot rising when the coffee in the cone is five inches deep? In other words, when the when the coffee in the cone was five inches deep, we didn't even use that information for part A because we didn't need it. We found that the rate of change of volume in the cylinder was related to the rate of change of height in the cylinder, and we didn't use that information about the, how much coffee was left in the cone at all because how much coffee was left in the cone doesn't make a difference to how fast the coffee in the cylinder is rising. Okay, so moving on to part B, we find that actually the part B as fast is the level in the cone falling at that moment, so when, when the coffee in the cone is five inches deep. And here I'll just point out that if the coffee in the cone was five inches deep, it would be falling at a different rate, the, the height would be changing at a different rate than if the coffee was only one inch deep. And the reason is that it's leaving the cone at a constant rate as far as volume. So the top, the top inch of that cone contains more coffee than the bottom inch. So if it was completely full, then to decrease the height by one inch, you're getting rid of a lot of coffee um, so that it'll take more time than if you were only getting rid of the bottom one inch of height. You would not be getting rid of as much coffee. It wouldn't take as long. Since, since our flow rate is constant by volume, then we would expect the rate of change of height to not be constant since we're in the cone. In the cylinder, it was a constant rate of change of height, and that made part A kind of easy. For part B, we have to acknowledge that the level in the cone is falling at a variable rate, but we still need to start by relating the volume to the height, because we know how the volume is changing, and we can find how the volume relates to the height and proceed that way. So how is the, I'll start by saying the volume is changing dv by dt. In here we're talking about the cone now. So we use dv by dt up above as being the given 10 cubic inches per minute. But that was how much the coffee, that was how fast the coffee was going into the cylinder. This time it's coming out of the cone, so the volume is decreasing by 10 inches cubed per minute. It's, a, it's changing, volume is changing by negative 10 inches cubed per minute. So we'll have, to, we'll have to know that. Now we need to relate volume to height. Now the volume of a cone is one-third of the cylinder containing it. So one-third pi r squared h. And in this particular cone, we have the volume, the, the full cone is, the physical object here is six inches big. This is the plastic part of the coffee maker, but the coffee isn't full when we're concerned with the problem. The coffee filter isn't full. It's somewhere below that at five inches. So we're actually measuring a volume of coffee which is less than the capacity of the coffee maker. So when this is coming out here, we have coffee in here that's a different cone, a different size cone that has a height of five inches. And we need to find the volume of this cone and how the volume of this cone is related to the height of this cone. Fortunately, 
we know that if the radius was 3, the height was 6. So if the height is only 5, the radius should be uh, always half of the height. So if this height is h, this radius should be h over 2 because we'll always have similar triangles here. Or uh, another way to look at it is this cone will always be similar to the larger cone uh, containing it whose dimensions are a height of 6 and a diameter of 6. So the height and diameter are always equal for the cone of coffee. And as the coffee flows out, its, its volume is held in a smaller and smaller cone. In, in our case, we, we have an equation that relates V to R and H, but since R and H do not vary independently, we want to go ahead and note that this radius equals the height over 2. So we're going to rewrite this equation as V equals 1 3rd pi times H over 2 squared times H. And I'll change one thing about that. I'll say that V equals, this is H squared, and there's another H, so we're going to have pi over 12 times H cubed. Now, this is our equation relating V and H. We're going to take that equation and differentiate it and give ourselves an equation relating V and H and H prime and V prime. When we differentiate this with respect to T, we'll get dV by dt equals um, pi, the, the 3 multiplies here, so we have pi over 4 h squared dh by dt. And this is our equation that relates v and h and their derivatives. Now, we can use this equation to answer the question. The question was, at the moment, this is the moment defined by h equals 5, what is dh by dt? Or it asked, how fast was the height of coffee falling? What is dh by dt? Now we know we have an equation with three variables, and we know two of them, and we're wanting to know the other one. h is 5, dv by dt was given to us as negative 10 inches cubed per minute. And then we can fill this out. Negative 10 inches cubed per minute equals pi over 4 times uh, h. h would be 5 inches. So this would be h squared is 25 inches squared times dh by dt. So we get negative 40 inches. Uh, ne it's negative 40 over 25 pi inches um, per minute is dh by dt. That's how fast the height of the coffee and the cone is falling when h is 5.